Okay guys, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to create a Venn diagram using pages and then I'm going to show you how to take a screenshot of your diagram and put it on the wiki. So first thing you got to do is got to open up pages. So pages is this icon down here on my dock. If you don't have it on your dock, if you click on the magnifying glass up here, you can type in pages and it should show up as one of your top hits. So click on pages, opens up a window like this and we want to select a blank landscape for this assignment so it's already highlighted for me so I'm going to choose that one it opens up and in order to make a circle you got this icon on the top here called shapes I select shapes and I'm going to choose one of the, the circle here and these circles you have these these um this box around it and if you drag the corner you can make it bigger um, to the size you want to use We'll make this pretty big and I can either go to shapes again and click click another circle or I can just click on this icon I can copy it, which is command C and then paste command V and now I should have two circles maybe I don't have two circles well I thought that would work well, oh, it's up here now. I have all these circles up here. Mm. So I can drag it up here. Nope. All right, well, that doesn't work. So I guess you just have to click on shapes again and we hit circle and drag the corners here to make it big. Um, I don't care about the size. Or, I mean, if it's symmetrical or in, in the shape or anything like that, that's not important to me. But you need two circles. And for a Venn diagram, you're supposed to have the circles overlapping each other. And right now, they overlap. You can see the line behind it. And it has two colors, the two circles are the same color. So we need to change um, the, the colors of these circles. So I'm going to change this one I have already highlighted. That's why the box is around the circle. And up here in the top, it says fill. And I'm going to fill it um, I don't know, this purple like color. So I got my two circles. Um, two different colors. You can choose whatever color you want to use. They're overlapping, but we don't see the, the line behind it. So now I'm going to go to my inspector icon in the top here. Click on that. And on the top of inspector, there's a bunch of different icons you want to you can select from. And we're going to select the one with the square and the circle on it. So if I click on the ruler, you look like that. Click on the circle and square. I got the graphic tool um, inspector menu here. And to, so in order to be able to see the line behind it, on the way in the all the way in the bottom here is called. Um, there's this scrolly thing here that adjusts the transparency of this of the circle, and I'm going to drag it to 50 percent. 52 percent is fine. And I'm going to do the same thing to the second circle. 50 percent, 52 percent, good. And now we can see the shaded area behind the circles itself. So that's that's cool. We got that. It's good. Um, now the next thing we got to do is we got to label our Venn diagram. And for this assignment, you guys are creating a Venn diagram for the powers of uh, the national and state government is the one they shared. So up here on the top of our toolbar or the menu bar of the Pages page, click on text box. We want to type in national powers. And I click off and I click back on it so I can drag it. I drag it over here. I want it on this side of my uh, Venn diagram. Make it a little smaller. Same thing for state powers. Click on it. Drag it over on this side. I need a third one for shared powers. Powers that they both share. And this is going to go in the center here. And I can make this, you know, keep on, I can play around the size of this so that they fit. So I can put fit all my information on this Venn diagram. And what you'll do is you'll just create a couple more text boxes here and you'll list. Oops, now I'm missing. Back. 
Um, here I'm gonna put um, power to da da da, power to da da da, da, da and so forth. And what I want to do is I want to make sure I put them in the right part of the Venn diagram. And when you're done, you should have listed all the powers that the national government has, all the powers that the state government has, and all the shared powers that they both share. Now, you, you complete it, once you complete your Venn diagram with all the powers, we want to put it onto the wiki page. And instead of just attaching it to the wiki page and making it kind of lame looking and boring, we want to um, put the picture on or put your Venn diagram as a picture so that it shows up on the Venn diagram instead of as an attachment. So I'm going to get rid of um, Inspector here, close that, click, click off this so I know that so everything looks clean and nice. And in order to take a screenshot of your, of your computer screen, you, all you got to do is hit Command Shift 4, which you can't see me doing, but all I'm doing is holding down Command Shift 4, and my mouse turns into a crosshair. Thing. And I'm going to click up here in the top left hand corner and I'm going to see the books. And take a picture of it. I'm going to it on the back. So again, Command Shift 4. As I, if I select my mouse and drag the crosshairs down and over and down, it highlights what my picture is going to be. So I kind of missed the very top of that, but that's, that's okay for the, all intended purposes. Um, so this is going to be my picture. I let go, it takes a picture, and it shows up on my desktop, automatically on my desktop. So I made my Venn diagram, I listed the powers, I've taken my screenshot, now i got to put it on the wiki. So I'm going to go to the wiki page, so I'm just going to go into M2's class, and I want this to go on your podcast page, the same pages you've been putting your podcasts on. So under Unit 1, I click Lab Podcast. Um, you can click on any one of these. It's going to take you to the same spot. But Chapter 4, since this is for Chapter 4, and I'll be Gino. I'm going to select Gino's name, whoever, whatever name yours is. You just select your name. And I'm logged in. So I'm going to edit this page. And I might want to name it like um, Chapter 4 Federalism. Um, Venn dia diagram. All right, and instead of attaching it, like I said, we do not want to attach it. We want the picture to show up on our wiki page. I'm going to choose the media icon and choose the file, which is called screenshot. I'm going to select that, align it however you want to align it, hit insert, and there you go. I have my picture of the Venn diagram that I made in pages on my wiki page. And you just hit save, and you're you got it done, and that's it. So I'm hit cancel. Mess up Gino's page, um, and that's it. So you know how to make a Venn diagram in Pages. You know how to take a screenshot by um, holding down Command Shift Four, so it becomes a picture. And then once you're done taking your picture, you want to go to your podcast page and upload or insert your photo onto the page itself. We do not want a file. That looks boring. All right, hope that helps you out.